Hey guys. So this is going to be my uh, July favorites. Dang, no, yeah, because it's August already. It's like August 2nd already. So I'm late on my favorites. Um, sorry, I gotta fix my hair. You know how it goes. Yep, yep, yep. Um, so, yeah. I'm just gonna get started right away. I don't really have like a ton of favorites. I didn't get to do my favorites last month because, I don't know, I just missed the, uh, missed the boat on that favorite. So, these are gonna be deals. This is going to be my July favorite. So I'm just gonna start it right away. Um, like I said, I don't have a ton of stuff. A lot of it's like hair um, products. So I'm gonna start with my shampoo that I've been using. I've been using the Renewing Moroccan Argan Oil Shampoo, which looks like this. Um, it smells really, really good. And it's such like a different texture of like shampoo. I guess I'll show you guys. Like it's almost like, like do you see that? It's almost like a gel shampoo like of course it will eventually um okay I'm super like orange I need something white okay <laughs> it's um really a weird consistency but I find it really really moisturizing and I don't know where my trash can is so maybe I'll just sit like this with this in my hand the whole time that's not gonna happen my trash can is okay so um you can pick this up, I, I picked this one up at CVS, um, it's by Organics, it's sulfate free if you look for, it's sulfate and paraben free if you look for that, and it keeps turning me a different color. <laughs> um, it says it's a unique and blah blah blah, it instantly penetrates the hair strap, assuring shine and softness while strengthening, creating soft, seductive, silky perfection. Um, I do have the conditioner with this, which I would not absolutely, I'm just going to throw this in really quickly because a lot of people like to get conjoining shampoos and conditioners. I'm going to throw that out real quick. I do have the conditioner. I absolutely hate it. It is the weirdest conditioner that I've ever used. It feels like it makes my hair drier after I use it and I hate it. Like hate it, hate it, hate it. So I just wasted money on it because I absolutely despise it. But the shampoo is really good. I really love the shampoo. I feel like it's really like, ugh, I love it. And I love how the smell just smells really delicious. Um, also from Organics, I picked up this Nourishing Coconut Milk Anti-Breakage Serum. And it says it's a, a nourishing blend of organic coconut milk to nourish your hair while ultra whipped egg white proteins add strength and elasticity, elasticity along with weightless coconut oils for hydration and balance. I really, really like this stuff. The only thing that I don't like is it smells like coconut. Um, I heard that coconut oil is really good for your hair and of course we know that egg whites are really good for your hair so I wanted to try this. They do have shampoos and conditioners in this same um, coconut milk but like I said I really despise the smell of coconut but I did want to give this a try and I really do like it. It's a nice like consistency. I just always focus it mainly on the ends of my hair. Um, I got three more hair things. Um, since I don't like the conditioner that I bought, I picked up the Aussie Three Minute Miracle Conditioner because I read a, I've seen a lot of reviews on this. I used to use it back in the day. I looked on Makeup Alley, and a lot of people say that they really like it, and it really does make a difference in their hair. So um, this is just going to be my everyday conditioner. A lot of people said that they use it as their everyday conditioner. So I've been loving it. I love the smell. I don't know why. Oh God, it smells so good. I couldn't help myself. Um, I do leave it on for the extended time. Um, some people say they just put it in and then rinse it out but I have been loving that um, one more little two more this has the Hask placenta super strength leave-in instant conditioning treatment for extremely damaged hair and as much as I don't want to admit it I have extremely damaged hair I know I fake the funk really well like I don't have damaged hair but I absolutely do um, I've had more bleach on my hair than I even want to admit um, but like I said I just faked the funk um, but I love this stuff I picked this up at Sally's I did have these like individual little vials that I picked up at Walmart I think I got them um, and you just shook them up and put the whole thing um, in your hair and when I blow dry my hair it makes my hair feel so much better um, this one I think I said I just picked up at Sally's it was $5.49 and it says to shampoo and condition your hair towel drive and then towel dry not towel drive and then spray this all over your hair and on your roots I mean on your scalp and everything and like I douse my hair in this like it is like dripping wet by the time like I'm done spraying this in my hair and the thing that I love 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 about this leave-in conditioning treatment is you can put as much as you want on your hair and then blow dry it and it doesn't feel like heavy you know like some leave-in conditioners after you spray a lot on your hair when you blow dry you can kind of feel like the residue of it and stuff this stuff is bomb like you can you can pour this whole bottle on your hair blow dry your hair and like 
it, you're not going to feel any difference in your hair, which is what I really, really like. So you spray it on your hair and then leave it on for three minutes and let it penetrate and then, you know, go through your regular drying process or whatever. But been loving that. And then last but not least for hair products, my Big Sexy Hair Flip It Over Texturizing and Finishing Spray. I talked about this in one of my hauls, and I absolutely love, love, love this stuff for when I wear my hair short. You, it gives you, like, such, like, oomph to your hair. Like, I can't even explain it. But don't use this if you have... I wouldn't use it on my hair that's this length right now. I only use it when my hair is, like, up to here because um, it pulls your hair down when it, um, it's longer. So when it's short, it's amazing. When it's long, eh. Um, on to makeup. I don't really have a lot because, like, I've just been using the same products all the time. So, um, I've recently fell back in love with my Revlon Photo Ready. Okay, I'm going to stop talking like that. Um, my Revlon Photo Ready foundation. Um, I had this in my drawer the other day. I have tons of foundations, and I was rummaging, and I was like, hmm, I haven't used you in a minute. So, I put it on and fell instantly back in love with it. It is the foundation that I'm wearing right now. I'm a little too dark for this one and a little too light for this one, so I just mix them together. It's um, 8 and 9. This one is the 8, and this is Golden Beige, and this one is number 9, Rich Ginger. So I just mix these two together and have been loving them. Um, the next thing is my Milani Bronzer XL All Over Glow. It's got bleach on it. <laughs> um, I picked this up a, probably a while ago, um, but I just started using it, and I really, really, really like it. Um, it's got a little bit of shimmer, more shimmer on this side because this is like the shimmer side and this is the bronze side, obviously. Um, those swatches, you can't really see the shimmer, but it is a nice bronze color. So when you put the bronze on your face, you don't really notice the shimmer. And I just love how big like the pan is. Like the NYC Sunny Bronzer is like half this size. Um, and I picked this up at Target and this one is number one bronze glow. I think there was two of them, but I don't think they had the other one. My NARS powder, I love it. It's mountain. Um... I use it to like set my makeup, finish my makeup, carry it in my purse when I get a little shiny, all of that. I've been using it and loving it. As you can see, I hit pan already. I hate hitting pan on stuff. I don't know why. It's like instantly when I hit pan, I'm like, I gotta buy a new one. But then I have all this product and then I don't use it. So I'm trying to avoid buying a new one just because I see pan. So I try not to look in it when I wear it. But I absolutely love this stuff. I picked this up at Sephora. Yeah. My next one is my highlight and it's my Revlon Colorstay Mineral Finishing Powder in Brightening. In, in brightening. I thought it said something else, but it was in a different language. Um, I just, the only thing I don't like is it's so hard for me to open. And this is what it looks like. They're really similar to MAC Skinner Mineralized Skin Finishes. Um, that's what it looks like. It's just a really nice, pretty glow color. Um, I use this, like, on my cheeks and stuff and down my nose. I sometimes put it right over my cupid's bow. And sometimes I like to use it as a highlight because it's like a, it's not like a white highlight. It's like a pinky, pinky highlight, which is what I like. I got this at CVS for 75% off. Because usually these things are like $15. And I'm like, no, I'm not paying $15 for you. <laughs> oh, have all that stuff. We don't know who that is, so I'm just going to hang up on them. This hair is bothering me because it's not really curled. Um, pretty much everything was the same, except I found that they had the conditioning lip balms there, which I was really excited about because I've seen these online. And um, I just don't really like to order stuff online because I like instant gratification. I like to get something and have it right now. So I'm not really an online shopper, but I did pick up. They only had one color, and it was in Mellow Melon, which is one of the colors that I did want to pick up online. It looks like this, and I really, really, really like this. That's the color. It does give you a color on your lips. So, because I bought this one, I'm definitely going to pick some more up online. I love the packaging and everything. It's only $3, and I love the product, so I had to get it. Mm, I want to give a little honorable shout-out mention to, um, I just did a whole video on my lashes, so I'm not going to talk too much about it, but my Rimmel Volume Accelerator. Love this mascara. Excuse my nails. Um, the wand is my favorite part, just because it's ginormous. Um, but yeah, I have a whole video talking about these, so I'm not going to go, but I just wanted to give him a little shout-out. And then we just have four little lip products, and then we'll be done. Um, two of these I've mentioned already, but they're still my favorite, so I have to mention them again. Um, it's Maybelline's Make Me Pink Lipstick. Love, love, love this lipstick. I just bought three backups the other day just because it seriously became my favorite pink. It's the darkest pink I own and definitely my favorite pink that I own. And Rimmel's Airy Fairy, which is right there. It's more of like a nude pink, but it's kind of like my lip color, just better, is what I like to say. And then, of course, Bonnie Bell's Lip Lights and Strawberry Parfait. This lip gloss is amazing. Like, I can't even tell you how much 
Like, this is the best drugstore lip gloss ever. If you love pink lip glosses and you want Nars Treasure to like and you don't want to shell out $24 for it, go to Walmart. These are $2.99 and they're so pigmented and so creamy and smell so good and just bomb. And then last but not least is my Say Yes to Carrots Lip Butter. I love, love, love these things. This is my absolute favorite one. It's the Berry. I have all of them, but I love this one. It is so conditioning on your lips. And yeah, I try to stay away from lip gloss or balms, like lip balms that have um, beeswax in them. I will say right now, my name is Nicole and I'm a chapstick junkie. I have tons of chapsticks, um, but try to stay away from ones that have beeswax in them because the beeswax is actually drying out your lips more. So. This is 95% organic and all natural. So, I don't know why I was talking so fast, but I feel like I was speeding through that. Oh, now I'm like out of breath and hot. So yeah, those are all my favorites for this month. Um, well, just basically stuff that I've been using a lot this month. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, if you guys like this hair that I have right here, if uh, we get a thousand likes on this video, then this hair tutorial will be up tomorrow for you guys. So hit the like button. I don't know where it's at. It's somewhere down yonder. Um, but yeah, thousand likes equals hair tutorial tomorrow. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!